I have found the most unhinged scientific publication that I've read in a very long time. You guys know that I spend my days trying to find you unhinged science that I can report on, and this one took the cake. It's essentially a roadmap on how we can compete with AGI by enhancing our brains. I actually went ahead and tracked down the researcher who wrote this because I have questions. Essentially, if AI continues growing at its current pace, it will eventually outpace humanity in terms of intelligence. But it's not exactly safe if AI ends up being smarter than we are, so in order to compete, we should enhance our brains. And yes, very real technology exists and is being tested that could do this. The paper posits three main ways to do this. The first would be brain organoids. If you're familiar with me, you're probably familiar with brain organoids already. Yes, you can grow tiny versions of human brains using human stem cells, and they're just little blobs. They can have different cell types. They can even do some computation. For the majority of their applications, they're either used to model diseases or test medications. They are an alternative to using actual humans or lab animals. They have another application which is more controversial, which is you can just pop them in the head of an injured brain and they'll grow there. They'll make projections all the way down to the spinal cord. They are essentially fetal, and they are quite invasive. But there is the concern that what does it bring along with it, and how much of you is you? So for example, if you were to get brain organoids made from the stem cells of a healthy person and that was put into your brain, would you still have the same behaviors? Will they come with any memories? And could they be used to enhance our intelligence? Nobody knows the answers to these questions. What we know about brain organoid augmentation, we do know that you can take human neurons, and if you allow them to grow in the skull of a mouse while they are developing, they may end up being more intelligent. We've talked about that. However, if we improve our brains by using genetically enhanced brain organoids, that has a risk to our sense of self. Our brain is kind of all that we are. So it creates a shift of Theseus problem. How much of you can we replace and still end up being you? That also may not be enough to outdo the robots. So what if we just enhanced our brains with brain-computer interfaces? That's happening already. We're already seeing applications where it can restore function. What if we could become more intelligent? This could endow us with certain kinds of superpowers. And yes, that is very possible, and it's not that different from our use of our phones. However, if you have something in your brain making you more intelligent and it is robotic in nature, what about agency? Who really is making the choices, and could that be used by an outside entity like the robots? Kentamaru proposes a third option, also very real technology. If adding more brain per brain is an identity issue and adding electronics is an agency issue, we can combine them. Because you can create an interface that involves a brain organoid and a computer chip that can communicate directly with a brain and enhance it. Yes, it's been done in mice. Now, this was not really talked about in terms of enhancing the abilities of mice. The goal is not to make them more intelligent. The goal is to repair large areas of the brain that have been damaged. If you continuously interact with brain organoids and give them little electric shocks, they tend to do better because they have more stuff to do and more information to process. It is also a very real possibility that you could make brain-computer interfaces less damaging to the brain by bringing in some brain with it. Your brain, you know, interfaces a little bit better with brain material and not metal, so that's also a possibility. Now, there is one very important component of this paper, and that's do brain organoids have memories? Yes, it's been demonstrated on more than one lab in more than one condition that they have both short-term memory and long-term memory. Over time, they may forget stimuli, but the more they play a video game, the better they get at it. They respond to stimuli as if they know what is going to happen. This is not the same as having things like episodic memory. We are talking about little blobs of brain goo. They're kind of memristors, but biological. In robotics, a memristor is something that remembers the voltage that passes through it, very similarly to how our neurons work, but it's a little bit different when you have a little brain blob. So the question, if you could take a brain organoid and put it in your brain and have it come with technology, could it then enhance your cognitive capacities? I am not convinced, but apparently some researchers are. And yes, the combining of brain organoids with AI is absolutely happening, and many people are working very hard to make it happen. I have not seen a standard LLM be applied to a brain organoid where you can talk to it, and I really wish that was the case. The whole concept behind this paper is that AI and AGI, so general intelligence, is eventually going to outpace humanity's intelligence, because while it continues to grow, we continue to stagnate or get worse. Though eventually, we may not be able to compete with the intelligence of a machine, and if we want to compete, we are going to need to augment ourselves. And here's a roadmap to why we should do it, how we should do it, and what issues might arise.
So essentially, if you have more brains in your brain, you may not exactly be you. If you have a brain-computer interface that can change your actions, who's to say who is taking that action? It could be the robots or essentially any other entity that could operate such mechanics. So having a combination of the two is probably the best idea. This paper was a wild ride.